It's a beautiful evening in Folsom, California. Isn't it beautiful tonight? And I'm surrounded by 71 beautiful artists. And we thank you so much for participating in this exhibition. Sarah Croft, $300 for first place for the youth competition. First place for the adult competition, $500 goes to Paulette Gautier. Is she here? For best of show, Sarah Croft, check for $250. Wow. conveyed what the pioneers went through. So I was reading stories and just different pioneer things and the thing that really struck me was the mothers of the pioneers and what they went through and so I thought of the composition that, that they really were holding on to what they believed in and let go of all the worldly things that they went through and that's the profound role of the mother that I found within it. This represents a baptism that occurred in the 1870s. We don't have the exact date on the Sacramento River. The branch president was Aaron Garlic, and he was told at work that there were a group going to come and disrupt the baptism. These men represent the disruptors. But these men, from his work, told him, don't worry about it, we're going to be there. And the baptism came off all right. There were seven people baptized that day. My wife posed for the person going down into the water. Our apartment manager posed for the person doing the baptism. He's not a member of the church, but he's a very helpful person. They were posed on the steps and I put them in the water. These represent family members of our own family, photographs that I took of them. To me, it means simplicity, a simplicity of life. In those days, it was so much more simple, the way they lived. And that's what I'm trying to portray in this painting, that it is, look how simple it is. This little boy, he's probably gone out for running with his dog and then comes in, and grabs an apple and sits down by the fireplace and, and eats his apple. It's just everything in those days was so much simpler and that's what I was trying to convey. Aren't you just happy? I'm quite a few dollars richer. 